Well, the wood burning season is over and all of the wood is gone. So how much wood did we actually burn with the outdoor wood burner? And uh, we'll go through that and then let's talk a little bit about the season and, and what the plans are for next year. So this whole area here, if you remember, was stacked. Um, a face cord of wood is uh, eight feet long by four feet high. And I think it's two feet wide. That's a face cord, um, if I'm correct on that. And this whole area here is about 13 by 12, something like that. I had wood stacked six, seven, eight feet tall in this area here. Um, very similar back here. I had this whole area stacked out to about right here with real big, uh, you know, big stack of wood. It was about six feet tall um, and about 10, 12, 13 feet long that way. Uh, I had a whole kinds of wood out here, real big logs that was split, that, or that wasn't split, sorry, was stacked over here. A huge pile of maple stacked over here as well. That was probably about another six uh, face cords of wood. And then I had this uh, stacked up all along here, all the way out to the end, or all the way out further here, which was another three or four face cords of wood. I probably had, you know, out here in this area, I probably had about 15 to 16 Let's just stay on the safe side. Let's just say I had 15 cords of wood out here. Um, I ran out about the end of January and I probably burned twice that, um, another double of what I, what, I, what I had originally started with. So probably pretty close to an estimating 30 cords of wood that we burned. On top of all the wood that we burned this year, um, about 30 face cords of wood, I also ran the propane furnace for a few weeks in February because I had run out of wood. Uh, life was happening, other things were going on, maple syrup and things like that, and I wasn't able to, to keep up with it. So I ran the, the propane furnace for a few weeks also and got a built, you know, stack built back up and then fired this back up again. Um, so, and I did, I have stopped using it here in April, a little bit early actually. We've been running the furnace at night when we've needed it, the propane uh, furnace again. Uh, so I'm, I normally last year I ran it into May. So we burned a lot of wood this year. Now I love this outdoor wood burner. I, uh, I love getting wood. I love working in the woods. Um, I love uh, the whole process of burning wood and, and, and everything. And I really like this outdoor wood burner. It heats our hot water and it heats our house uh, fairly well, um, but, there's a there's some problems and there's uh some things that i think i may have to change for next year and I'll, I'll tell you why so history we moved into this house about a year and a half ago um, a lot of things around here were, were done very quickly and on a budget um, before we moved in from the previous owners uh, the wood outdoor wood burner this is a very inefficient model it's a very basic model also the water lines that run from the unit underground to the house about 100 150 foot run uh, to the house here they were not insulated so they just threw them in the ground they're probably who knows how deep probably 12 inches in the ground or something like that not below the frost line they're not insulated and uh, you can see it just a melted patch of snow all the way to the house you know all winter long uh, so i'm losing a whole lot of heat my temperatures out here to inside are like 10 degrees different 180 degrees is what i keep it at here and and i can't get that inside at all so another issue is that the actual forced air system in the house is a complete disaster it's a very old furnace uh, it was there was additions put on the house the the furnace is at one end and the ductwork goes into the attic it's not insulated in the attic so it's exposed to cold air it goes down into the addition it's really long it's not sized properly there's actually sections of ductwork in the attic that are apart where air is being sucked in from the attic into the system it's a complete disaster there's a lot of things that are kind of working against me here um, so I'm really contemplating uh, retiring this wood burner next year uh, for a few reasons. Number one, in order to get this thing to run properly where I'm not just wasting my time getting wood, uh, I need to put a lot of money into it. It's about 800 to $1,000 to redo the, the lines, insulated lines to the house. Uh, it'd probably be another thousand dollars to fix the uh, furnace and ductwork and other things there and i'm still left with kind of an inefficient boiler which i'm wasting a little bit of wood on burning less wood is important to me for a couple reasons number one i really learned with running this thing the difference in 
value, heat value, and a lot of people have said this in my previous videos, soft woods versus hard woods, like good wood. I burned a lot of hickory this year and that stuff lasted three or maybe four times as long as some of the softer, fresher, newer stuff, the greener stuff that I was getting out of the woods here and from other places. That stuff just didn't burn good at all. The boiler wouldn't keep up to temperature. It didn't burn hot, uh, burned quick. And uh, it was just a complete waste of my time to go out and get all that wood and then have it be 50% as efficient as a good seasoned piece of maple or oak or hickory or something like that. Um, I don't have a lot of hardwoods on my property, which means that I have to go get all that good wood from somewhere else, which means that I have to invest in a trailer. Uh, I've been borrowing one. Uh, I can't do that forever. And there's a lot more you know, equipment investments that I need to make to haul wood to our property every year. 30 cords of wood, even 20 cords of wood. That's a lot of wood to get uh, just to, to run an inefficient burner that's really not even heating our house well. We're still running electric heaters in the basement because we can't get heat down there very well. Our electric bills have been higher in the winter. So there's a lot of problems with the system. Another reason that I'm considering going with an indoor wood stove this year or next year is I'm doing maple syrup now. Uh, so that means not only am I running this, but I also had to keep up with supplying wood to the maple syrup evaporator in February, March, and April. That was a whole project of its own. I burned through a lot of wood there as well. And again, burning good wood is a much better boil for the maple syrup operation. I plan on expanding that next year, which means I need more wood. Uh, I, don't, I just don't have enough time in the day or the year to collect enough wood to keep up with this and keep up with that. So another reason, I'm also planning on heating the greenhouse this year. We just built a greenhouse that's back behind here. Uh, I'll be heating the greenhouse in the winter, uh, at least the fall and the spring next year. And I, I might try to go all the way through the winter if I can. So that's just another place I need to supply wood for. I have a wood stove planned for that. There's no way I'll be able to keep up with this, the maple syrup operation, and the indoor wood stove in the greenhouse uh, and be sane. Uh, the more time I spend getting wood, the less time I can spend doing things around here that make me money and earn us an income for the farm, which is important for us. That's our only source of income right now. So although it's a really tough decision and it's a really hard thing because I love using this thing so much, I think that next year I may try an indoor wood stove. I'm gonna go through the whole process of using the indoor wood stove, what it, what you know, installing it, what we pick, and all that stuff later on in the, in the summer or fall. Uh, and I'm going to go through and, and do the pros and cons because there are definitely cons of having the indoor wood stove. It's not going to heat our hot water. Um, it's going to require me bringing in wood every day. You know, bringing wood into the house and and all the the mess that kind of comes along with that. And there's most likely a higher insurance cost. The advantage of the indoor stove is that it burns far, far less wood. Our house is really designed very well for that type of heat. I'm also gonna save a lot of electricity. I don't need to run the furnace blower all the time. And because I'm not getting good heat out of this boiler into the house, uh, that blower runs all the time, all winter long, and it's just sucking up electricity. So if I can get that system turned off, and get uh, into a, just a, a small wood burner in the house, I think I'll actually save a lot of money that way. For this next year, unfortunately, I think I might uh, throw in the towel on this thing and uh, um, you know go for an indoor burner. So what do you guys think? I think that's a wise choice, I think it's a bad choice. Those of you guys out there that heat with wood, uh, what do you think? What, you know, that have indoor burners, you think I'm making a mistake? You think we should invest in, in getting this thing fixed up? or? or throw in the towel and go for an indoor wood stove. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thumbs up guys, as always, you know what to do. Subscribe if you wanna follow along. If you're new to the channel, love to have you guys tag along. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.